And you can't do that. I'm sorry I kicked your dog. Check the railroad station and the bus stop. Did George pick up the school teacher? Okay. I think you've gone plumb crazy on this case, Clem. Why'd you let Williams go? You had enough simple facts to convince the jury. What's a simple fact, Jay? The man's dead. That's a fact. Simplest fact there is. Jake, you're a doctor. You ought to know a lot about folks. 
I knew a man once kept accusing his wife of being unfaithful. After listening to him for 12 years, she was. <laughs> Proves she was right. He was just a little premature. That's all. I say the husband was a lot responsible for what his wife did. Sometimes murder is like love. It takes two to commit it. The man who hates and the man who's hated. The killer and the killed. Yeah. All I know is, I've got a corpus delicti down there with a hole in his head. If you went into all the reasons why that rock struck Jerry's head, you might end up writing the history of the world. <laughs> uh, you should have been a preacher, Clem. Not a bloodhound. All I know is that a human being and what's made him is a lot more than you cut out of him at the autopsy table, Jake. Not when they're dead. Come in, Miss Johnson. Sit down. I've got a problem. I thought maybe you might help me. Are you in love with Daniel Hawkins? Yes. What would you say if I told you Daniel killed Jerry Sykes? I wouldn't believe it. Because you wouldn't want to believe it? No. Because he's not hard like he pretends. Because inside he's gentle and lonely and lost. Because you won't let him forget for one minute that his father died like a criminal. Because... I know. That's why I want him to come back and confess of his own accord. Daniel Hawkins left town sometime last night. When you used to see him, you must have gone someplace, someplace special. Where? No special place. What are you trying to get from me, Sheriff? Why do you want me to help you? So you can hound him like he's been hounded all his life? Right now, I can send Daniel to jail for life. Worse, maybe. Juries might not believe a man who has to be brought back in handcuffs. I don't want him punished beyond what's right. He's taken his share already for a long time. I know Danny. I knew Jerry. Jerry's been attacking and deviling them ever since they were school kids. Then you think it was self-defense? Only Daniel Hawkins can tell us what happened. That's why I want him to come back of his own accord. Then a jury will believe what he says. You don't have to stay any longer, Miss Johnson. Only if you know where to find the boy, find him. Tell him to come back before it's too late. While he still has time to pay his punishment and still has most of his life to live like an ordinary human being.
forgot to say goodbye. Why didn't you tell me? I tried to, but I was afraid. What if I lost you? What if you wouldn't touch me? Uh, what have I got to lose anymore? Why should I be afraid? Don't you understand? From here on, it's all bad. Dan. Dan, don't be afraid. Billy. I almost killed Billy. The guy I've helped and protected all my life. He didn't even know what it was all about. If he'd raised his hands, I think I would have killed him. Oh, get out of here! You should have sent me away when I might have gone. It's too late now. Dan, please don't hurt me anymore. Oh, Gilly, Gilly. Dan, you've got to go back. Ain't nobody gonna shake me out of a tree like a coon. Maybe someday. Someday won't be soon enough. Dan, the sheriff knows you're not a killer. And I knew it without even asking. Gilly, I don't even know what happened. He came at me with a rock, but next thing I knew, he was lying there. Go back, Dan. I ain't clear. I gotta get answers. But you won't get them this way, maybe not for the rest of your life. I gotta get answers. Where will you go? Maybe Chinamook, the Grand Moth. Ma and Pa, buried there on top of the ridge. After that? I don't know. What are you thinking? Only how it will be tomorrow. Going into a schoolroom. Asking a lot of questions about dead history. And you. And you. Don't make no sense, he'd stay here. Once he got started, he'd keep going. Do you think that Moses telling the truth that he hadn't seen him? The boy was up here a lot. Don't see no windows, Pride. I'm going. Maybe too late, but I'm going to try. Mose. You're not going to ask me to hunt my friend, are you, Sheriff? I need you to handle the dogs. I wish they were dead. This is no place for a woman. Why don't you go on back? 